Kick down your door and back your chick. Let you know the mother couldn't have in it. Period. <laughs> Hey Gems, it's Gervis Jamima and we are back at it again with another video. So today, we are going to be doing a Valentine's lookbook. A Valentine's Day lookbook! Yeah! 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 <laughs> um, so I put together three different looks and um, they're kind of like a range of looks for different events because I don't know what festivities you guys will be engaging in. I don't know what your plans are, if you have any plans. Um, so I kind of wanted to give you guys options for different looks that you can wear throughout the day for whatever uh, situation you're gonna be involved in, okay? Listen, baby, um, I do have a favorite look out of the three, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So um, before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Stop playing with the kid and subscribe. Um, so let's get started, okay? <laughs> Period. I don't know why I'm so hyped. Like, Jamima, you're not wearing any of these. Cause you got no plans. Well, I do have plans actually. Mm. So as you guys can see, we're doing this a little bit different. I kind of wanted to do like a sit down chit chat type of video and then show you guys the look as I talk about the look. I might be comfortable and I want to get comfortable. Or... So as you guys can see, uh, this video, is, is, the format is a little different. I wanted to switch it up a little bit. I want to be comfy, sit down and chit chat with you guys. Um, which I'm finding that I'm enjoying quite a lot. I went live the other day and it was really fun. Y'all, the thing with live is I get on there and I'll be like, I'll stay on for 30 minutes, an hour. Girl, I'm just sitting there half a day kicking with y'all. Okay, so I'm like, ugh. I have to do better with my time management to make sure I have time when I go on live. But anyways, that's not what y'all here for. Let's get into the video. <laughs> I like it, I feel like we kicking, okay? The girls are sitting out having the chat talking you know planning our outfits like i like this you know oh uh, so yeah let's get into it <laughs> so for the first look i wanted something that was still cute still you know put together but on the casual side um in case you guys had any like daytime festivities plan maybe brunch or something like that um i thought this would be really cute and when i um tried on this top during my rep dolls haul i said oh uh, Oh, she's, she, she, she needs a moment of her own. She needs a moment of her own. She needs to be featured in this video because this is perfect for like a nice brunch situation. This wrap blouse is honestly everything. It's stretchy, which I love and appreciate. I love the two-tone situation. It makes it stand out a little bit. Um, I would say get your size. I sized up so that my arms could fit and I got a 4X. And I wish I'd gotten my regular 3X um, just because I can tell that I sized up. So it's still cute. It's definitely still gonna see uh, outside for sure, but I would say and recommend that you get your size. Uh, now I paired this top with um, this pair of Torrid jeans. And I really, really like these jeans. Um, let me see my calendar. With that video, cause I featured it in my vlog, my vlog. Ish, I'm not sure which video is gonna be out. Let me see. Okay. Um, I think this video might be out before the vlog, um, so just stay tuned for more deets. Um, but basically, it's this pair of um, jeans from Torrid. They're called Bombshell Skinny. I got these in a 24 regular, which I feel like next time I'll get tall. Um, because like I say, you know, in, the, in an effort to get the top of the jeans to really cover the shelf and fit well on the top, I find that my stomach, my yash my thighs they eat up a lot of material um and so regular jeans tend to look more cropped on me so i feel like if i go the tall route it'll fit regular so um and i am 5 8 so keep that in mind but aside from that these are probably the best fitting jeans that i've found so far and you guys have been recommending towards me for quite some time now um and this is my first time trying their jeans now I keep getting requests to do their hauls, but I'm just like, y'all, like every time I go to the website, I don't really see anything that I like. 
I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't really see anything I like. And I'm hoping that with the spring collection, they'll come out with some cuter things, things that are more so my speed. Um, <clears throat> I have a little, <laughs> I have a mini torrid rant in the vlog as well. So, you know, stay tuned for that. Okay. Um, but yeah, so <clears throat> these are the best fitting jeans that I've found so far in terms of the front not coming up all the way to my bust and the back covering most of my shelf. And, you know, that's my biggest issue is the back covering most of, you know, the top part of the glutes. Okay. So it has button detailing on the front. I'm not in love with the button detailing. Um, I see what, what they're doing. I, I, I see the look they're going for. I just find it to be inconvenient. Um, you know, you have to undo all the buttons to use the bathroom. And then if, if your jeans fit right, you kind of got to jump and tug a little bit. And just to do that with all the buttons, it's just, it's more work than is necessary. And plus, I like the look, the clean look of the zipper that's covered by this little situation here. As opposed to having the buttons show. But I do see where they're going with it. It's not a bad look. It's just not for me personally. But that is the case with these jeans here. Um, but other than that, um, yeah, I... I like these. I really do like these and I do want to try more jeans from Torrid and maybe that will be the video. I'll do a Torrid jeans haul. Maybe that's what I'll do until they come out with the screen collection and I can see what else they have. Um, apparently y'all keep telling me that Torrid is all they play in the ads on my videos. Like, are these plus size brands not? Well, anyways, um, I don't know what that budget looks like so I'm gonna be quiet and mind my business, okay. Um, but yeah, so definitely pair with a nice pair of jeans um you can also pair it with slacks to dress up a little bit more but you know to keep it cute casual but still put together still you know look like you've made an effort still you know how i valentine's day weekend i feel like that would be a really cute look now the shoes and the bag that i paired with this outfit was not my um initial mindset it wasn't my initial pairing for this look i actually wanted to wear my I call I call them my Manushka shoes, but they're called Mishka Badgley. But eesh. I'll have all the details listed below. But um, I really wanted to wear those shoes with this outfit, but those shoes are lost somewhere in this apartment, and I have no idea where. <laughs> Y'all, I have so many boxes and packages and bags and things everywhere. So it's like, I, I don't even know what I did with them. But yeah, so that's look number one. But what I did feature was my Nine West pumps, which you guys have seen in a past shoe haul. Um, and I paired that with a bag I got from Shein. Nothing special, but just a nude bag, new pumps. Um, if you don't want to do too much pink, too much purple, too much of that bright Valentine's Day color, that's also a great way to wear this, this blouse and these jeans. Nude. You can't go wrong with nude, okay? Yeah, can't go wrong with nude. <laughs> but yeah, so that's definitely a vibe for sure. Mm. Okay, so look number one, it's giving brunch vibes. Brunch vibes, okay? Brunch and natural activity, a little something, okay? So look number one, all right. So for look number two, I put the dress up and I forgot to bring it back down. <laughs> but for look number two, um, this is my favorite look. I wanted to do something that was a little different, but still on par with the festivities. Um, and something about this white dress just, I love it. It's Naked Wardrobe. You guys know I'm obsessed with Naked Wardrobe. Um, I got it from Nordstrom. I think it was like six to eight dollars, something like that. Um, beautiful, double lined dress, sturdy material. Um, and I love that it had the slightly squarish neckline with the straps that will hide a thick bra strap. Because y'all know when you're wearing a bra with these yitties, <laughs> these yitties, you need something like a cover the strap. That strap be like this. That strap be like this big. Get the strap, okay? Um, so I like that it has wide enough straps and it's still cute and not matronly. I think that's definitely key because not look, all wide strap dresses are not created equal. Okay, let's put that out there. All cuts of straps are not created equal, honey. So I appreciate that this still has a youthful look while it does provide the coverage. 
that I need, okay? Because I feel like on Valentine's Day, you might want to have a girl sitting up. <laughs> I won't for going brawlers, honey, but every once in a while, you know, it's nice to be out of tension. It's nice to be perked up. Are we back? Okay. Like, come on. Uh, uh. Y'all, <laughs> the battery had the nerve to die on me. Rude. I just put it in. It's already dead. I hope that's not how your Valentine's Day goes. <laughs> Why would she say that? Like. <laughs> Anyways. So like I was saying, you know, for, for V-Day, you, you might want to be a little perked up, okay? Sitting at attention, you know? So I like that this, this dress allows you to do that, all right? Now, I paired it with these red pumps I got from Nine West. Um, yeah, so I believe the pumps are from Nine West, and it, had, it has this cute, um, like, stud detailing that goes around. Hold on, I have the pumps right here. Okay, at least I have this. At least I'm halfway prepared. <laughs> so it has this cute, super cute stud detailing around the shoe. Um, it also has this mesh detailing on the sides. So you know, your foot can breathe a little bit. It has a cute, classic pump toe look, but the stud and the mesh adds a little razzle dazzle. It adds a little bit of edge to the shoe. Let's them know that you ain't the average chick. Kick down your door and back the chick. Let you know the amount of cutting I have in it, period. <laughs> That's the vibe that this is giving. Like this, this shoe is for the girl that might kick down your door and smack your chick, just to show your mind that couldn't have in it. Baby, I don't know what you think, but I ain't your average chick. All right, I'm gonna leave that to wrapping to the professionals, cause um. But yeah, so I feel like those shoes were a cute vibe. It kind of contrasts the innocence, you may say, of the white dress. The more conservative nature of the white dress okay um and i like that and because of the gold studs on the shoes it pairs it it'll pair really well with some gold jewelry a nice necklace because you guys know when you do a more simple dress that's your time for your accessories and your jewelry to shine okay put a double layer necklace on put some nice earrings on a nice hoop or a nice little dangly dangly situation to let your man know something gonna be dangly dangly later on that night you know <laughs> Period, okay? It's the subtle tones, all right? The hints of what's to come. And I love that. So I love the white dress with the white shoes. Um, and the bag that I, I, I paired with it, um, at first I was gonna go with a red bag and I was like, mm, that's a little too matchy-matchy. I want something that'll pop. I want something that'll still tie in with the red, but it just brings another element to the look. Um, Cause the jacket, honey, the coat is a beast of a coat from Rev Dolls. But you know, once that coat comes off, what is there that's going to tie the dress and the shoes? The dress and the shoes, beautiful. But just adding that bag, that pop of color, but it has like that metallic tone to it. It's just, it elevates the whole look entirely. I absolutely love it. I felt like it was a perfect addition. I can't link it. I can try and search for it. I'm pretty sure I got it from like the Marshalls or something. Um, and they were, I think the note on it said it was like handcraft there or something fancy schmancy, I don't know. But beautiful bag and I love that it's structured um, and it's round. So it's like the roundness kind of goes with against the, the studs. I don't know, but I just feel like it was a bunch of like different characters that came together and it creates just a vibe, like a boss vibe. And when you pair it with the coat, when you pair it with the coat, are you kidding me? Are you a joke? Are you a joke? Ah, the court is screaming money. The, the court is screaming opulence. It's screaming wet. A great credit score. <laughs> Do we not love all those things? That coat is screaming, talk to me nice, baby. Like that coat is screaming, security, security, please. He's in my bubble. He's in my space. He's within my six feet. Escort him out of the premises, please. Like that, oh, oh, ha, oh, oh. And on the range of coats, I think it was like 120 or something. 
I'll have to look on the Red Bell's website. And look, everything I can link, I will link for you below, okay? Baby, that coat, that coat is honestly the high of the look. But like I said, the coat does come off. And so that's why you have the bag and the shoes to kind of like perk the dress and the jewelry to kind of amp it up. But baby, with that coat... Oh, that coat is something else, y'all. That coat is something else. I am obsessed. I love it. It's a vibe. I'm here for it 1,000%. One of the best things that's ever come. Well, top three. Oh, my God. Y'all, I've had some beautiful pieces from Red Dolls. Um, this set being one. Hello. Talk to me nice. Yeah, that was look number two. Um, if I had plans, I think that's the look I'll go for. Just because usually I'm like, mm. I like red. Um, black is usually like my color color, but something about that white is just calling out to me this year. Not that I have plans or anything with a, not that I have dinner plans or anything, but something about that white, like if I did like have a date or something like that, I think I'll go the white route for sure. It's like, you know, people that want to do something different, you want to go against the green, you don't want to be mainstream, but you still want to, you know, stay in line. I guess I anti Valentine's Day, but it's like Valentine's adjacent, like, mm, like, I'm here, but I don't want to sit with them. <laughs> That's low-key the energy that this outfit gives. And I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. So, you know, I like it. I really like it. That's my favorite. So, last but not least, for the third look... That's for those of y'all that have plans, plans, honey. Y'all have plans, plans. Y'all finna go out... Y'all finna do some things. He finna spend some shmoney. She's finna spend some shmoney. They finna spend some shmoney. Listen, I don't know, child. Whatever it is, you got plan with whoever you have plans. So it's, listen, maybe a nice show. Maybe it's it's an event event, a black tie event, formal dress event. I don't know. Or maybe you're just that level of extra, which I love, I adore. Because maybe that's the level of extra i would be it is i actually initially bought that dress for valentine's day knowing i didn't have a date why did i do that i don't know but here we are so i'm wearing it for the internet um gorgeous 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 velvet like burgundy tone dress oh my god it's ooh, beautiful dress mock neck situation thigh high splits literally ends right at the who is bling 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 but like literally like five high split it literally ends like right at the the crease of like my fupa like my y'all this split is mm, delicious delicious and then rub dog it has like this little um like flappy detailing like three flat detailing that's like right here i don't i don't know i don't know but whoever constructed this dress Whoever constructed this dress did such a great job. And then they strategically placed these like ruching details to kind of bring in the dress on certain places. Like they have it like right on the back, right above the, the glutes. Baby, oh, they said you won't see these glutes, baby, period. And they have it like on the side so that the dress comes in just a little bit. Because, you know, when you have a, a dress with a split, um, it can... The bottom could spread out a little bit and give it more of an a-line look rather than have it come in tapered um so i feel like the ruching was strategically placed to kind of bring in the shape back a little bit so i thought that was genius on their part y'all i wore this dress out and i didn't the shoes i wanted to wear with it i didn't have it yet um but like when i, I saw the vision when i bought the dress i saw the vision and i said no I I would kill this and I feel like it's perfect for winter because it is velvet so it is that thicker material long sleeves high neck like except for the slits it's very modest um and which which means very warm okay period y'all the, the weather the, the weather was dropping into the teens <laughs> the disrespect that has been the weather as of late baby <laughs> I said give me a turtleneck <laughs> give me a turtleneck because I'm finna be warm all right I'm not playing with y'all but when I pull the dress out to film this video, baby, I can still smell my perfume on it. Ugh. Ugh. Can you want yourself? Like, is that a thing? Can you want yourself? Because I feel like at this point, mm, when I imagine how I felt in it, how I looked in it, how I smelled in it. Ooh. I was like, ooh, Jamima. Mm. <laughs> 
Um, but on a serious note, honestly, like this is like the perfect sexy winter dress. I'm not even kidding. Um, I'm so happy I got it, even though I didn't get it for the occasion that I bought it for. But I still got to wear it out. I still got to enjoy it. I still got to love on it. And I love that for me. I really do. So the shoes that I originally wanted to pair this with, um, I ordered them, but they didn't come in time. So when I finally got them, one of them was like bigger than the other. It was kind of weird. So I boxed it up, ready to send back. Um, and I'm like, dang it, I should have kept it for this video. But I'm going to show you guys a picture and post a link below so you guys can get it. I feel like it's the perfect shoe for this look. Um, it's like a clear shoe with like silver detailing on it. Um, it has a sturdy heel. Okay. Um, and I feel like it pairs beautifully with this silver bag. Do I have a bag here? Dang, I feel like I got, that, I got this from like Ross and Marshalls too. But just any silver bag or like any kind of cute clutch would pair beautifully with this. Um, and I just feel like, oh my God, with silver jewelry, a nice dangly silver earring, a silver watch, like silver rings. Oh, uh, I just feel like the shoe, the shoe would have tied it all together. That night, I just wore black pumps. Hated it. The pumps didn't go with it at all. But I needed something that I could stand in, that I could move in. And that would look somewhat reasonable with the dress. And I'm like, dang, I really needed these shoes for that occasion. So I kind of feel like I need to wear this dress out again. Because I didn't give it a shine. It didn't have its true moment. I'm just like, what What can I do to wear this dress again? I want to wear it again so bad, y'all. So freaking bad. <sighs> but anyways... It was a sight. I loved it. I loved how I felt in it. I loved how warm I was in it. I mean, the leg was cold. <laughs> the drumstick was freezing, okay? But the other drumstick was baking, okay? It was even a baked drumstick, frozen drumstick. One was cooked, one was still raw. But it was still a vibe, and I still looked good, and I still enjoyed myself. And it was a great vibes overall. Just, ugh, mwah. 10 out of 10, recommend. Um, oh my God, is that it? I feel like I been wrapping through this whole video but yeah that is it that's the three outfits um i hope you guys got some inspiration from this video got some ideas for you know some outfits that you can put together for valentine's day and i will see y'all in the next one and let me know if you like this style of video too um i know it's a little different I, I usually try on the clothes and talk but i just felt like sitting down and doing a little chit chat you know wrapping it up chatting it up with my girls um so let me know how you feel about this style of video um yeah and that's it I will see y'all in the next one. Toodles. <laughs>